Hello! How's it going guys and girls? So I'm starting a new video today and we're gonna do finishing out a helmet. So this is 3D printed. Took it off the printer, took the supports off of it. Just a uh, 3D printed helmet called the Banshee by my buddy Alter Ego Armory. You can see I print uh, just one wall and I print um, you can see I mean, it's thin you can see my infill the hexagon infill through the thing there so what we're gonna do first is sand it down I'm gonna sand all of this down now the ears I printed on my resin printer so they're pretty much good to go I'll lightly sand those but the ears are fine but the actual helmet was printed on FDM and it is of course layer lines they're gonna be all over this thing so I'm gonna try to get this ready for to make a mold of so what we're gonna do first is hit it with the sander palm sander all right So after you get done with that part, it should look kind of like this. 
All I did was knock down those print lines a little bit, you know, and get it somewhat evened out. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some, some uh, glazing putty and thin it down with some acetone and just brush it on. I'm just gonna paint it, paint the whole helmet. All right, let's do it. All right, it's time to do some glazing putty. I'm just using the red, you know, Bondo glazing and spot putty. Let me open this fresh package or fresh tube here. And so what I'm gonna do is just squeeze a little bit into this here. Actually quite a bit. Oh, oh. Got about that much in there in the bottom. And then I'm gonna get some acetone. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pour some acetone in there. Kind of play with the consistency a little bit. And then I've got a nice used brush that I'm gonna mix it up with. And it's pretty runny, so I'm gonna add some more glazing putty to it. I want it to be kind of like, I like a thick cream. Get that away. There we go. See, it's kind of like a, let's see if I can get it to zoom on there. All right, I'm putting my mask on and I'm gonna cover this helmet.
so that's how it is. Just painted it on. It'll only take me a few minutes. I mean, it's not bad. And we'll come back in a little bit. This dries really fast. Most of this is already dry. So you could, I mean, you can sand this pretty quickly after, after you paint it with that stuff. So I'll just let it sit for a couple minutes and come back and then we'll we'll do a light sand over the top with a with a sponge and see how the lines are looking and if it looks like we need to add some more uh, glazing putty in there then we'll come back and uh, do another layer and then sand it again hey I'm back so I got the first coat of Bondo glazing putty and acetone painted on painted it on there's plenty of videos on, um, and I've seen some like uh, what is it where they airbrush it on do different stuff like that I always just paint it I don't know I just I like painting it on with just a crappy old paintbrush but this is how it looks whenever I'm first done with the first coat so now we're gonna sand it lightly and then we'll come back and hopefully all the lines will be filled in. If not, we'll do another coat and then just repeat, repeat that process until you get a nice smooth surface and then we'll prime it and have a look at it. But it's like 20 degrees outside right now so I'm in the shop. Usually I will take this outside and sand it because it's a lot of dust. But I'm just gonna sand it lightly inside here I've got a nice little some like a tarp thing down here so it'll catch all this dust and definitely wear a respirator though because you don't want to get breathe this nasty dust in so let's get started
All right, after that, you end up with something like this. So I sand, let me wipe it down. I just got a paper towel with some alcohol on it. And I'll show you how you should sand it down. You wanna sand it down to where it's, you're, you're sanding everything down to the print lines. So let me see here. Yeah. Some more alcohol, hold on. Get all that dust off of there. Okay, so now you can see, I sand it down. This will dry in just a second. This side's already dry. So I sand it down to the print lines. That's what you wanna do. You're just filling in all these, all the little spots that are lower than the surface. That's why I use that block. I use that foam sanding block and then I use some 150, you can use 150 or 220. I usually use either one of those, but that's pretty much it. This, this guy is ready for some, uh, he's ready for a nice coat of filler primer now. I mean, there's a couple of spots that need to be, that might need some more attention, might maybe another layer, but I don't think, I think that the filler primer will cover that up it's pretty smooth usually the part the part that you need to do another coat on is right here which i think i'll probably do another coat right there and then maybe just a light coat all over just to get any of the spots and then uh we'll do another sanding and i'll come back after that all righty one more thing in these tight little spots like on the visor uh, you're gonna have nasty, some gnarly, gnarly stuff in there from the supports. I usually will just take my, take my sandpaper and fold it over like a tongue depressor. Fold it over there a couple of times. Just kind of wrapping it on this thing. And then I'll take my, that spot that's real rough and I'll just go over it like this. smooth it down a lot. Those areas get pretty gnarly because of that support. So that's a lot better, a lot better in there. There's still some spots, but it's a lot more clean. 
All right, so I'm gonna do another coat and then we'll come back and sand it. All right, everybody. So this is two coats in of the acetone and red Bondo glazing putty. And it is ready for some primer. But first, before I prime it, I'm gonna glue, go ahead and glue all the, the resin printed ears and the vent on. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna grab it. All right. So I've got my ears and I've got my vent right here. First thing I want to do is line this vent up and see where I want that to go. All right, like so. So I'm, I've already cleaned this part off. I already cleaned this off with some alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and get my super glue And I got my activator right here. Got my lid. I'm gonna put the glue on this on this helmet. I'm just about out, so hopefully I got enough to do this. Oh yeah, I got enough. I'm trying to get it on the edges because I want it to be pretty firm on there. Then I'm going to spray my activator on the vent. And slowly, oh, make sure I got it the right way. Slowly add it on to this where it's supposed to go. Hold it down until it dries. Shouldn't take very long. And there it is. Got the back vent on. And now let's do the ears. So these ears, one of them, one of them goes on the left, fits better on the left, and one fits better on the right. Uh, I think this one is the right, or left. I'm gonna figure that out first. There we go. Yeah, that fits good. And this other one should fit on the right. Yep, looks good. Put that right there. So let's do this one. I probably should sand. I have some little spots on this from when I resin printed it from the supports. So let me sand that sand that down just a little bit so that I don't have to do it whenever, after I glue it on. Places will be hard to reach whenever I get it glued on, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it right now. Okay, a 
that looks good. All right. Let's glue. <clears throat> Come on, glue. I need to order some more glue because this is just about out. All right. Spray this down with the activator. And set it in place. Hopefully you can see this. press firmly but I'm holding on the inside too I don't want to crack the helmet because this is 3d printed so it's still will crack all right we got one on looks good let's do the other one <clears throat> Sand this part, this part down. That's got the little, little nipples from 3D print or from the supports. Probably should put this on. Make sure it fits on there good. Yep. Perfect. And glue. Come on, glue. Accelerator, activator, whatever you want to call it. And glue. Hold down. Nice. So where I glued this, there's a little bit of a lip, kind of like on the side I'm gonna go ahead and sand that while I have my sand my piece of sandpaper here just to kind of even it out
we go. Move it off a little bit. Good to go. All right, so now we're gonna come back. I'm gonna hit it with a coat of filler primer and see, and that'll really show if there's any imperfections or spots that I need to be sanded a little better. Um, I see one spot right here, just barely. Yeah, so we're gonna come back and hit it with some filler primer. All right, so I'm back over here. Usually I would do this outside, but it's like 20 degrees outside and my shop is 70 degrees so I'm gonna do it in here just gonna wear a mask and then I'm probably gonna leave for a little while but I'm doing it close to the ground so most of it's gonna fall right here and I've got a pretty good I've got a pretty good uh, ventilation going in here so should be okay um, but yeah let's let's do some just regular old filler primer I'm gonna put my mask on All right, I'm gonna let it sit. We'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll see if there's any spots that we need to fix. But right now it looks pretty good. It's just about ready to paint. All righty. All right, so it's pretty much dry to the touch now and it looks pretty good. So that was two coats, two coats of the Bondo glazing putty, thinned down with acetone. And I just brushed it on, sanded it. You can do this in like, I mean, you can have a helmet ready to paint in a, an hour or two by doing this. And I know there's a lot of, I can't remember where I saw this. It, it, I know uh, Darkwing Dad did a airbrushing. He airbrushed it on and that look, that works freaking awesome too. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't like doing the, using the airbrush. I just like to paint it on, it's just, seems like it's just simpler for me to do but there's tons of different ways to finish out a helmet this is just the way that I've been using for a while now and like with all the ones that I have on my wall in here and that you've seen on Instagram uh, it, it works pretty fast and there's there's only one spot on this that I would probably do another coat of Bondo and it's like right in here you might not even be able to see it on camera but 
there's I did touch it right there with my hand there's a little bit of a wave right here to where you can kind of see like a like my printer was moving quite a bit so there's kind of like a wave in the print but I can fix that what I'll do now is probably just wet sand this and then it's ready to ready to paint so like I said a couple hours an hour you can have a helmet ready straight off the printer to paint it doesn't take a whole lot of time and it's really pretty simple to do anyways I just wanted to share with y'all how I do it or how I've been doing it lately I don't use the wood filler anymore um, except for on some things I'll use it uh, it works pretty good for for some things um, but yeah the Bondo glazing putty works has been working great for me so I'll stick to that I guess for a while until something new comes along Anyways, if you like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this channel. Uh, I'm going to try to do more videos like this in between making Wookiees. Uh, making Wookiees is my full-time thing. So uh, just let me know if you, if you like this kind of stuff. All right. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.